Hi, welcome to Bharat Mavens. Let's go through five e-com metrics which fast growth and profitable brands use and you should be using too regarding the metrics. Coming to, we all have seen posts on AOV, CPA conversion rate, but apart from these, there are other important metrics. In fact, some metrics are even more important than these and you should listen to it. Number one, contribution margin. This is revenue minus COGS. Cost, COGS is nothing but cost of goods sold minus your ad spend. Aim to introduce, reduce the CPA and increase the AOV to achieve a contribution margin positive from the first order. This is, should be a number you should keep track every day in and out so that you need to aim for making this number contribution margin positive. If you are getting contribution margin positive, it means your cash, you have a good cash flow in your business and it should be invested in your operations and stuff like that. Number two, NCPA, new customer CPA. Don't just look at blended CPA, which is your total number of customers, total amount spent on the customers by acquired total amount spent to acquire customers by your total number of customers. Look at new customer CPA, which is customers which are newly acquired who are never there part of your existing audience. Usually it is higher than the blended CPA because blended CPA has existing customers involved in it, which where the CPA is quite lower than compared to new customer CPA. Number three, number three com coming to organic percent of total revenue. This is a true sign of growth where organic revenue generated percentage should increase as you scale and even out of the total revenue. Though the paid media spend increases, the percentage of it should actually keep either stagnant or decrease because your organic flywheel should take into effect and your product itself should bring back customers, not just your marketing. That is a true sign of growth and a product market fit is achieved then and there itself. Whenever a new customer brings in more customers for you. Number four, brand searches. This should increase over time. That This lift in brand search is a sign of delivered customer promise and people are looking for your brand as a solution and trusted thing to solve their pains. That's a very good thing to have. It should, you can track that in your Google Keyword Planner or Google Search Console. Both are effective. Google Keyword Planner is more robust to track your brand searches. But uh, it should have at least 1,000 searches a month before you can track it. Number five, percent of people using discounts. Make sure you note it's percent of people, not the people itself. So as you scale, no more people will be using discount. But what's the percentage of it? Over time, percentage should decrease, which means people are billing willing to buy at full value. Uh, in Black Friday and Cyber Monday seasons, it's common to have uh, many discount offers and stuff. But when it is normal, people should be willing to buy at full value and your marketing should be able to convince them to buy at full value so that customers don't look for discounts here and there and go for the competitor's website. Thank you. This was Bharat Mavens. If you need any help with your e-com brand growth or consultation, you can check out our channel and you can head to the website. Thank you. Thank you very much.